we offended you. have been asked to leave. I've been asked to leave, but that's not the same as being trespassed. Yes, it is. It's not. Well, being trespassed means that you are in violation of a formal request by someone who is an authority right. to ask you to leave, and you refuse to leave. I'm not refusing to leave. I'm asking a Grab your stuff okay. and move. I'm not refusing to leave. Grab your stuff All and right. move. Hey everyone, I have something a little bit different for you today than what you're used to. It's actually a topic I've been wanting to get into more and what happens in this video provides the perfect opportunity. I've talked about before how I actually agree with the left when it comes to police reform because I've seen a lot of evidence that there is a definite widespread issue with the police being very undertrained and uneducated, especially when it comes to people's constitutional rights. Let me just be clear about something. I'm not a lawyer, but I've watched hundreds of these First Amendment audit videos on YouTube and it seems to me to be a pretty blatant violation of First Amendment rights. The clip I'm about to show you comes from Ben Berquam, who's the founder of Frontline America and a reporter for Real America's Voice, and it shows a Maricopa County election official using an out-of-control sheriff to blatantly violate his First Amendment rights. Check this out. So, I guess we'll just raise the First Amendment issue or what? Yeah, yeah. it's the First Amendment. A legitimate press, I'm waiting. What the, what the statute is that allows you to deny First Amendment? Yes, exactly. It's a free speech issue, specifically because they are on public property. You can see there's a sign right there and a gate. If they were to cross that line, then they would be trespassing. But currently, they are on public property. Do you have your approved media pass yet? You heard me the first time. I said no. I'm okay. Wait, I'm, well, okay. I'm waiting for my appeal. I, okay. I I'm going gonna, gonna to have to ask you to step off the property until you receive the email that allows you the authority to come in. Off the wait. Earlier, you from behind, I, I'm telling you, I'm asking you right now. I'd like you to step from behind the barricades and wait until you get your approved email. Let's see, is this... I'm asking you to step right. behind the barricades. I believe MCSO has had the discussion with you already about the property. You don't have approved authority, you don't have an approved email. I'd like you to step behind the barricades, please. You're saying I can't be on the property without approval. But I'm telling what, you right what now about the fact that I pay taxes in Maricopa County. So do lots of folks, and they have their approved yeah. media passes, which is why they're yeah. inside. So it's pretty obvious at this point that this jerk has deemed these guys to be partisan media because he wants to move them to the free speech zones, which are areas that are usually designated for protesters and demonstrators. But the fact remains, they're standing on public property right now. As you can see, they are behind the fence. The free speech zone is set up right outside the fence. So what you're, you're allowed to say you don't have free speech. What I'm telling you, sir, property. is the free speech zone is right beside the right behind the fence. So there's no first sir, amendment right. Sir, I, I, ask, I hear what you're saying. I'm not gonna answer your question. I'm not a, I'm not a cut a lawyer. Okay. What I'm asking. So where's the authority? What I'm asking. From? What I'm asking you. Right. And I'm asking. Do you have an authority? I'm you asking where you're, you. You said you're not a constitutional attorney. I'm asking for somebody to answer. I'm right. Not, well, my, but, right. I, but I've sir, read the constitution. Sir, so have I multiple okay. times. <laughs> and, where my, where, and, and whose a, property is this? Sir, this is the property of Maricopa County right. Elections Department. And the citizens, is, the sir, citizens of the county. This is the property of the election, Maricopa County Elections Department. Okay. You are, you're not, I can't walk into IBM and I own stock shares. Right, but Guess that's, what? A, that's a public, that's a Guess private what? company. You're not a private right company. Right now, what an asshole. Nope, that election official is just wrong. It's not comparable to IBM and owning stock in it. That's a private company. The election center there, that's on public property. So I went ahead and took a look at this area because I just wanted to see where Ben and the Gateway Reporter were at. And I'm pretty sure they were right up here in this area somewhere, which is public. And, you know, I don't understand how they could have been trespassed uh, without breaking the law. You are being, public, you are being public asked, access. sir. You are being asked to step behind the barricades. It's public access because it's been granted for this event. Well, I haven't been until sir, you came out here. Actually, uh, sir, they said to wait sir? here. Fine. Okay, so gentlemen, I guess, please I guess leave the it. property. So grab your stuff. Have we been trespassed? Yes, you've been trespassed. Have we you've been asked to leave. I've been asked to leave, but that's not the same as being trespassed. Yes, it is. It's not. Well, being trespassed means that you are in violation of a formal request by someone who is an authority right. to ask you to leave and you refuse to leave. I'm not refusing to leave. I'm asking a Grab question. your stuff. So it's my understanding that they can't just trespass you from the property unless you've broken the law. Otherwise, public officials could just pick and choose who they wish to serve. You'll notice that they keep on asking him to leave, not ordering him to, which is why he's confused and trying to figure out what's actually happening. But they won't answer and they just continue to escalate, become more unhinged and more unprofessional. And you refuse to leave. I'm not refusing to leave. I'm asking Grab your stuff okay. and move. I'm not refusing to leave. Grab your stuff All and right. move. 
So we haven't grab been, your stuff we haven't and been move. trespassed, guys. Grab your stuff. We and haven't move. been trespassed. Grab your stuff. And but move. we have the grab your stuff and move. Law grab this your is stuff. Law I've grabbed my stuff. I'm grab your We're stuff. Both going on here. What an asshole! This is grab what, your stuff and keep this, moving. This is what keep walking. Unfortunately, and we love keep law enforcement. Walking. Unfortunately, I get it, the left But you have to comply with the law. They what law? They have asked you to leave. Exactly. What law did they break to be trespassed from public property? You'll notice this tyrant wearing a sheriff's badge never answers. In my humble opinion, that. That sheriff needs to lose his job for acting so unhinged and unprofessional towards a member of the public. Especially when that trespass was so questionable. As far as I know, you can't just trespass a member of the public from public property unless they've broken a law. I've seen this scenario play out over and over again in First Amendment audit videos that involve the police or public officials. They'll get upset about somebody being there with a camera and then call the police ultimately to learn there's nothing they can do because people have a First Amendment right on public property. Property. Corruption like this from police and public officials is very common and it's one of the reasons that I think First Amendment audit videos are very important and I recommend that you all go and check some out. I'll make sure to link some of my favorites in the description and pin comments. So ultimately both Ben and the Gateway Pundit were denied their credentials with the reasoning being basically that they were biased in the eyes of the leftists at Maricopa County. Anyway that's all I have for that. I hope you found it informative. If you did please hit that like button, share, subscribe, and make sure to leave a comment to let us all know what you think. Thanks a lot. <laughs>